Hello, I'm Dr Deb, the Travel Doctor. Today's travel health tip is how to use the malaria test kit. This is an absolute marvel of technology and allows us to test blood to see if there are any malaria parasites there. So here's the malaria test kit in its packet. Now there is an outer packet and an inner packet. The outer packet has a small lancet, the cotton bud and band-aid and the instructions for how to use the lancet. And the inner packet is the malaria test kit. So we have the um, the little cassette and another inner packet, which is a bit like Russian dolls. So you can see here are all the contents. We've got some more instructions. This is the collection tool, the buffer, a little alco wipe, and this is a packaging device, so we'll chuck that away. Now, you can see in this inner packet is a small lancet. The lancet is quite um, scary to look at, really. So we've changed that, and now we use this other lancet, which we find is more acceptable to people. So the first thing is get everything out on the desk so you know what you're um, up to. The other thing I wanted to show you, this is the collection tool and you can see at one end it's like a little cup and we're going to use that to collect the blood and put it on the little card. So once you've got everything out, if your hand is dirty then you use the alcohol swab. If your hand is reasonably clean and you've um, washed your hands with soap and water beforehand, this is not perfect because it really makes the, um, the stab sting. Now this lancet um, has a little dial on it and you can see there's three sort of like a, a large, medium and small and you want to turn that to the small because we don't need it to be very deep. The, um, the lancet inside is actually protected by this little cap so we're going to take the little purple device off and throw that away. Now, for your finger, or the person's finger that you're going to use, you need to sort of pump your finger a little bit. And it's really important that you do the side of the finger. You do not want to do the front of your finger. There's a lot more nerve endings, it will hurt. Um, if you do the side of your finger, then it will just hurt a little bit less. And all you do is you get the, the stabber or the lancet and you put it on the finger, and then you just push the button. Sorry, I'm a big sook. And give your finger a bit of a squeeze. We need to get the blood and put it on the little cup. So you've got the little um, blood in the little cup and you put it inside the round hole on your cassette. And it conveniently includes a small band-aid so that you can stop the blood getting everywhere. Now the next step in the process is to use this solution. And with the container pointing upwards, you just twist the top off. And just keep twisting round and round, and that will take the top off. And you need three drops. And the three drops go in the little square well. And so we're going to put in three drops. One, two, three, there we go, and then that's finished. And what will happen is that the solution will run past the blood up through the card and it will tell you by small bands on the cassette whether or not you have malaria. C is the control band will show that the test has been done correctly. And this is a test that we did earlier. 
The test takes 20 minutes to run through and um, get a result. Here is a cassette that we did earlier. You can see there is a purple line next to the C. That's the control bar means the test is successful. And there are no bars next to the one and the two, which means that you don't have malaria, which is very reassuring. And you can probably see on this one that the, the solution is running along the cassette and happily I don't have malaria at this point. Now the thing with this test is if the test is negative um, and the one and two bands do not appear and you still remain unwell it is necessary to repeat the test because sometimes the malaria parasites will hide, they'll attach to the walls of the blood vessels and you will not get a positive result. So if you continue to be feverish and unwell um, you may need to do a second test. So there you have it. I hope this has explained how you would use a malaria test kit. If you have any questions at all, we would be very happy to hear from you and we look forward to helping you travel safely and healthily in future.